go. Hey guys, today I'm going to, uh, just a simple DIY video. Today I'm going to show you how to make these, um, book magazine things that you can hold stuff in. Um, and basically what you need is you're going to need a cereal box, something to draw on, and a ruler, sharpie, duh, duct tape. I also have some for designs. And then you're going to need scissors. And as you can see, yeah, some are already designed for some design ideas. And I just put some paper on the back so you can write stuff. You know, good way to organize. And let's get started. So first what you want to do is you want to mark this at the spot where you want it to end, pretty much like that. So I'm going to just, since this is kind of small, it's going to be like a mini one, almost. You're going to mark it like that. For a regular one, you're going to do five inches up. But since this is small, I'm just going to be estimating. And then you're going to do this diagonal from the corner from here to the corner up. And then you're just going to mark it like this. And don't worry about these tabs because these are going to be cut off eventually. Okay, so the next step is you're going to do, you're going to do that um, to the next. advertising for checks. Excuse my terrible singing. So you just want to cut this out. This first done, I'm just gonna rip off some extra stuff like this. So it's gonna look like this. Next, you wanna um, start get some paper. So I'm gonna just break back and get some paper. Now I'm probably gonna need uh, three to four sheets, and I have three sheets right now. So I think that's gonna be enough. But just to be safe, I think I'm gonna get some paper that I don't have. And yeah, so three sheets of paper, use it for the best, hope for the best for this. And you just want to measure it out basically like that. And it pretty. And you just want to start marking it around the edges. Okay, you trace stuff. If it goes off, then it's fine a little bit. It's a little off, so I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit. And if you see this line, it's okay because you can just flip over and you can hardly see it. So, next, what you're gonna do is when you cut it out. And it rips sometimes. <laughs> because you're um you're gonna put duct tape around it like I ripped this one like three times and you know it still looks fabulous and um I just use plain old paper so it doesn't look that good like, you can always cover it with duct tape but I prefer cardstock because cardstock makes it hold up better you know so yeah and <laughs> yeah so um I just want to give a handout to uh, Georgia's sister named Danielle 
um, she really likes my videos, and I'm really glad, you know, so thank you, and, um, you're going to want to trace it out in this one. Sometimes you can fix it up a little bit because it might not be that even. But you can always fix it up. And it depends on if it's your first time, then you might not get it right. Of course, I got it right. But you might not get it right. Okay? It's very common for someone not to get it right. I mean, it's very common for someone to... You know what I mean. Okay, so... It doesn't look that even, but who cares? I'm be back here. So I'll be right back. I just need to get some glue. And they're just walking around the room. Walking around. And yeah. Just gonna glue it. The box like this. You can do it on the paper or the box. I just prefer the back box because sometimes the paper can get soggy. So. If you can you can do this pretty well in cardstock. Just if you're doing it with paper, like if you're not feeling to go out all the way to Staples and get cardstock, then you might want to have paper. I'm just gonna evenly glue this on. It's not gonna be that even because again, the duct tape you know fix up everything. You know. Yes, I know. What? It's gonna glue her face. Fifteen minute recipes. Oh my god. measure it first. Like this. You're going to need a black sharpie that's um, right here. And and if you're doing this, I'll just do this to make it neater, basically. But um, if you want to do a box like this, then you definitely don't need to do this. You know, beautiful box. Beautiful. Those are beautiful too. Okay. And then you just want to keep doing that all the way around. And then again. I just, I'm going to mark it where the rule is half on it, or at least decently three quarters on it. Just not too small to be on it. And then you're going to do the other side, and I just threw that over there for no reason. And really cool technique to use. You know, it's very easy to get organized if you're just feeling in the mood to get organized. You know, because I'm basically a clean freak, you know. Everyone's a clean freak, and basically inside, everyone's a clean freak. You know. So yeah, then you start the duct tape, and the duct tape is probably my favorite part because you get to decorate it in any color that you want. In any design or any pattern that you want. So I'm just going to line it up on the line. You know. This duct tape might be a little see-through, but I'm just I'm just doing scotch. So it's usually not meant for arts and crafts. If the duct tape brand is, you know, with the little duck with the hat on, it's the scotch where they sell regular tape. 
I think it's actually meant for fixing stuff. You know, because you fix stuff with duct tape. Some people would duct tape kings and queens, and they fix everything with duct tape. But, you know, people are the way that they are. And yeah. So if this video is being a little long, we ha we don't usually time our videos. We just take our time. Usually, people won't care. But if you do care, then please comment below. And I will totally fix that, and I will time everything to the time that you want it to be.